David, this is a fascinating story. Um, I guess we'll benefit from it, and that's why car makers are working so hard on it. Well, that's right. I guess, you know, if we think that by 2040, about half of new car sales, about a third of the total global fleet is forecast to be electric, um, that's a lot of batteries. And if we think that um, after about 10 years in a, in a passenger car and, and a little earlier, maybe four years for a bus or a taxi because they work harder, those batteries are going to need to be replaced. Um, well, that kind of adds up to a, a growing mountain of used EV batteries. Now, what the car makers and battery producers, even governments are thinking through is the fact that um, those batteries kind of aren't done, that they're still quite useful. While they can't power a car anymore, um, they still can have maybe seven to 10 years of useful life left in, uh, in less demanding applications. So previously, I guess people had thought that, that the key here would be just to simply recycle the raw materials. What these companies are finding, what they're testing, what they're even putting into commercial applications is uh, that there can be a second revenue stream. And if they can make an extra set of profits from the same product, then clearly that's something that's worth chasing. Certainly it also seems to answer the question. A lot of people have, you know, the danger of all these batteries piling up, not good for the environment. But so basically, how are, are they going to be reused and what are they going to be, which key markets are they going to be in? Sure. Well, look, I mean, we're seeing a real explosion of, uh, of testing and, and a real uh, diversity of applications. Um, now, that's either a kind of a small scale and, and that involves maybe putting a, a sort of energy storage pack in your house. These batteries are basically taken out of the chassis of a car. Typically, they're kind of broken down either into smaller packs or many different modules are put together to, uh, to be used in much bigger applications. So in a house, that could mean a uh, reused battery modules are going to store rooftop solar or wind power. Also, they might just store energy that you, that you take from the grid when it's cheapest. So uh, also seeing large applications in things like microgrids and even power grids in Germany. Dave, you've got to ask where Tesla is on all this. Yeah, int interesting. Um, they're not pursuing this. Tesla, what they tell us is that their big focus is on harvesting their own batteries to recover raw materials. So at this stage, they're the one key player that's staying on the sidelines.